Ah, snowy Saturday in March. Laura's inside taking care of some business. I had uh, posted my last video on Paul a couple weeks ago. And uh, it went well. Uh, Pastor Chad had a couple comments and it went good. And then the other day I looked down and I noticed that somebody had left a comment. So naturally I went to read it. And uh, it was kind of surprising what I read. Uh, it was from a gentleman, a woman, I don't know, um, whose name was like in a boggle. It started with the Z and there's consonants and vowels. I, really, I couldn't even begin to pronounce the name. So I really, I'm not sure if it's real or not. But it said something, and it, it, the, the person said something that made me think. I said that I am lost and I'm going to be damned. lost. I'm going to be damned. Hmm. Well, they don't know me. And, uh, well, quite honest with you, back in 2008, that's probably a pretty good assessment, actually. Uh, uh, yeah, I kind of blew my life up and made a mess of it. And I was definitely lost and almost certainly I was going to be damned. But I thought about it and I said, here's this individual who's going to make a comment. I'm talking about the, the the Apostle Paul and in so doing I'm going to be lost and I'm going to be damned and I said wow um, and it kind of made me think you know I, I really believe that everything is Christ driven that 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 everything in your life he's he's got a hand in and so I wondered wow why why this why now I don't and and I always look I look where's where's God's hand in this and so uh, I gave it some thought. I said, well, I'm, I'm lost and I'm going to be damned. Well, actually, when I got to Chicago, I went, 2008, I went to Chicago. I met up with some people and uh, uh, one individual in particular um, kind of mentored me on my Christian way, as it were. I had an encounter and uh, it really changed my life. And when I look back, I could see Christ in my life. I just didn't notice him. I didn't pay attention. He, he just wasn't there. But in this moment, I seen him and I knew. And so when I left Chicago and come down here to Indianapolis, I it, it stayed with me. And in fact, I got baptized in 2012. And uh, I, I, I did my profession of faith that Jesus Christ is my Savior, that he died on a cross for my sins, and I'm forever grateful to it. And I know that I fall short of what he wants of me, but I try, I do to seriously try to do what I can to be a, a better Christian and to seek favor in his eyes. And so this, I'm damned. And it's like, wow. How would you know that? And why? And, and I don't get that. And then it occurred to me, and I don't know. We're going to ask Pastor Chad. We're going to have Pastor Chad step in here in a little bit and have him fill in the blanks, as it were. But it occurs to me that the profession of faith that you do comes from Romans. And I could be wrong. I really could. And Pastor Chad will correct me if I am. But it seems to me in that. And then. And unless again I'm mistaken, it seems Paul had uh, the Apostle Paul had a pretty big hand in writing of Romans, and so I'm thinking ah, I could be wrong. And if I am, um, I'll I'll come back and I'll apologize and we'll we'll set the record straight. But I'm gonna go with the fact that it was the Apostle Paul that had a big hand in in how that was written and where the profession of faith comes from. And I'm thinking it's interesting. This person said that. You're 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 going to be damned, and uh, and I, I think that hey, you kind of missed the mark on this one. Is that no? I I don't believe that I'm going to be damned. In fact, I I believe that Christ has a big hand in my life, and that I am grateful for that. I'm grateful for this opportunity to to find uh, uh, the Apostle Paul and to read of him and to to learn more. So. Um, I, I don't quite know where this person was coming from. Clearly, they don't know who I am. Uh, but then again, it gave me this opportunity now to profess my faith to Jesus Christ. And I uh, also will give Pastor Chad a chance to uh, to step in here. And uh, let's, let's clarify that. Where, Pastor Chad, where does that come from, the profession of faith? I believe it's from Romans. Might be wrong. 
we'll wait and find out what he's got to say. Uh, here it is on a snowy Saturday, sitting in my truck, loving Christ. Have a good one.